Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another whitewater kayaking tutorial coming to you from inside my truck this week because uh, the heating in the house is getting fixed up and it's super loud in there and there's a lot of stuff going on. So I thought we'd just come out here, quiet zone, my happy place. Um, all right, before we get started this week, we're gonna be talking about how to blunt your kayak, which is one of the first, like, one of the earlier wave tricks you're gonna learn, um, like after spin and we'll talk about the prerequisites in a second. Um, before we get started though on, on our learning today, today is October 21st in Canada. It's a very special day because it is our general election today. Uh, I'm a permanent resident of Canada, which means I do not get to vote. So if you are in Canada right now and you are a citizen and you do get to vote, please take the time and go out to do that. It's very important. Um, if you pay taxes, like obviously, if you don't pay taxes, I guess you don't get it. But if you pay taxes, it's important. It's important for the next four years. I don't really care who you vote for, but I think it's very important that everyone who can vote does. So if you're in Canada today, please go do that. All right. All right, moving on um, back to our kayaking here. We're talking about a blunt, which like I said, is one of the first tricks you're gonna learn. It is a 180 degree turn of your boat from forwards to backwards with an angle of elevation greater than 45 degrees. Um, hopefully on your screen now you're seeing uh, you're seeing one of these performed in, in real life. Um, like I said, it's one of the first tricks you're gonna learn in your freestyle kayak. It comes or fairly early on. The prerequisite skills you need to be able to do this are fairly straightforward. You've got to be able to front surf, back surf, side surf. You've got to be able to move around the wave so you can go to the top and come down the wave. Um, and you probably want to be able to spin too. And if you're comfortable with all those things, you're probably ready to learn to blunt, right? But if you can't do those things, and especially important is moving around the wave, moving to the top and coming down. Uh, if you're not, if that's like a concept that's alien to you, you're not ready for this trick yet, you need to go back to my how to front surf video, which I made about a year and a half ago. Um, that's gonna help you out a lot on on that one. So I'll leave a, I'll leave a link below for that one. Um, that's got a bit of knowledge about moving around the wave and going from the top to the bottom, because that's kind of like the entry level skill for this trick. Assuming you can do that, how do you blunt? Um, pretty straightforward really fun but it's tricky in that like you have to be in control of your boat body edges they're all doing something a little bit different um, so we're going to break it down step by step step one is go to the top of the wave so that you're ready to come down with speed and that you've got room to move on the wave and room for your boat to turn before you like run out of like the apex of your run right if you try and do this trick from the bottom of the wave you've got nowhere to go so you need to be doing it at the top so you've got some distance you can travel to make that turn. In the example on the screen in front of you right now, hopefully, um, we should be doing a right hand blunt or going to the right. So for this example, I'll be explaining things in terms of going to the right. If we're going to the left, it would just be exactly the opposite, right? So keep that in mind. Um, from the top of the wave, I am lined up fairly central with my boat pointed straight or ever so slightly left. When I am ready to go and I'm at the, the very top of the wave, I'm gonna pump back in. So I'm keeping my kind of back straight, pushing my body weight into my toes very briefly, just a little pump. And that's gonna get my, back, my boat trimmed forwards like this and start that journey down, um, down to the bottom of the wave. Immediately after I've done that pump, I'm gonna drop my left edge and this is called counter edging. And by dropping my left edge as I pump, that's gonna make my bow start to reel up. And the more I can pump and drop that edge and get my bow to reel up, the easier it's gonna be um, for me to get that nice elevation change and make a really snappy turn. So I'm at the top, pump forward to get my turn started and drop an edge at the same time as that counter edge that's gonna pop off the green water and start to reel up then I'm gonna make a couple things happen all at the same time. I'm gonna do a simultaneous edge to edge transition. So in this case, I'm gonna go from my left edge to my right edge, okay? At the same time, I'm gonna be looking upstream and I'm gonna be placing my right paddle blade underneath my butt. And you see by putting it underneath my butt, it's turning my body to the right. Okay, this is really important now because my body is turned to the right, my shoulders are turning to the right. What that means is my boat should have an easier time of going edge to edge 
that right edge dropping down, and then I'm gonna end up um, in a back surf here. All right, there's a few other things um, that are happening also at the same time. The most effective thing to do here is to be looking upstream still. And that's gonna help you maintain uh, your position on the wave when you finish the trick. It is possible to do it with your head looking kind of like into your paddle, but it's more likely that you'll get lost when you land the trick and like carve off the wave. Um, I might have another example of that I can show here. So ideally I wanna be looking eyes upstream. So let's just pause for a second, summarize where we're at so far. Top of the wave, little pump, uh, with a counter edge to get myself started. As my boat's reeling up, I'm gonna do an edge to edge transfer with my legs. So I'm going from left edge down to right edge down. At the same time, turning my body, putting my paddle under my butt. And my paddle's doing a little bit of a pushing stroke there. Not too much, but a little bit of a oof. Um, and that's gonna help push my boat uh, away from my paddle and make that kind of 45 degree angle change a little bit easier or even maybe a bit bigger and steezier and cooler, maybe up to like a nice 90 degree angle change, get sporty and get like, woo hoo hoo, crowd's going wild. Uh, my eyes are looking upstream where they've been looking this whole time. And then right as I'm about to get to backwards, I'm gonna do a strong backstroke um, with my left paddle blade. Uh, you could turn your pushing stroke into a back paddle stroke, but I find it's better to do it with my left side because that, it just helps square my body back up over my boat. Uh, and I find it's a little bit easier, but either way, you need to do a backward stroke to give yourself upstream momentum and stop yourself from flying off of the wave. If you were looking where you were meant to be looking, then you should be landing getting that backstroke in and figure out where you are and it's easy to stay on the wave or even to turn back on the wave. Uh, a few times, and I, hopefully I've got an example of it here we can show, um, but you'll see me land and then just not be pointed straight back upstream, but be pointed with an angle. And that just encourages my boat to kind of zoom off the wave or carve or back carve off the wave. Um, and then I'm not on the wave anymore, which is not what I wanted. So that's something to think about. Just try and keep uh, like awareness of where the edges of the wave are and where, where you can be when you land. And that should make it nice and easy for you to stay on the wave in a back surf, turn back to a front surf. The crowd goes wild, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you feel like a legend or, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the blunt. It, like I said, fairly straightforward trick, but it does require a lot of things happening all at the same time. Um, some common mistakes I see here, and I'm gonna just run you through them briefly. Um, that paddle doesn't get put in the under the butt position, um, and either is like back here, and that kind of turns you into more of a roundhouse, more of like a flat 180 turn, or like a you know, 20, 30 degree 180 turn. So if your paddle's like back there by your stern instead of under your butt, it's not turning your upper body enough, so it'll be difficult to get the angle of rotation that you're looking for. Uh, other mistakes I see pretty commonly are not enough edge, so that's not enough initial edge, that like counter edge, and not enough edge to edge transfer. The more edge to edge transfer you can get, kind of the easier it is to pop up to be nice and vertical. Um, the not enough initial edge is like how much your bow is gonna reel up. So if you like pump, but your boat kind of like lifts up flat, it's difficult to like drop enough edge to get it back up to vertical. So that's another thing to think about, another thing people do wrong a lot. So just keep an eye out if you're doing that. Some other things, what are some other things that people do wrong commonly with this? Another common thing people do wrong is they're kind of looking downstream uh, too much, too early. And when they end up in a back surf, they're like looking downstream and not looking back over their shoulder to try and get them kind of to stay on the wave. And so they'll land their trick and then immediately carve off. Um, Cause you always end up, your boat always ends up going where you're looking, right? And that's something I've talked about in one of my first YouTube videos. Um, wherever you look is where you're gonna end up going. So if you're looking off the wave, that's where you're gonna end up. So keep that in mind, it's important. And yeah, that's all I've got for you this week on uh, how to blunt your kayak, freestyle kayaking. Super fun, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, a good precursor trick to a lot of the other harder tricks. So you've got to have a good mastery of this one before you can move on to some of the more challenging ones. 
Let me know if this has been useful for you. Uh, I hope it has. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch it as always. Thank you so much to those people who are subscribing and leaving comments and letting me know what's helpful and what's not and what you want to see in future videos. Uh, the idea for this one came from a, a YouTube comment a few weeks ago, so appreciate you guys. Um, thanks for everyone who subscribed so far and liked the videos. That does help a lot. It helps the YouTube algorithm push uh, push up so more kayakers can see more of these kayaking videos that I'm doing. And hopefully that's going to be helpful for more people. I don't know. Um, anyway, great to see you guys again. Remember, if you're in Canada and you can vote today, please go vote. I'm not. I don't care who you vote for, but if you can, you should. In my opinion. Um, yeah, and I will see you next Monday. Peace.